Hi everyone, good morning. It's Emily and I am back with another Boats of 10 video. So this video is for paycheck of March the 30th and um, my paycheck was $754.92. And before I get started, I just want to say um, welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, I've been getting a lot of new subscribers so I'm going to do a brief introduction. Um, I am a 36 year old African American female um, that has one child. Um, she's eight years old. I am a custodian for a local school district here in South Carolina. Um, and basically that is it um this is i i will say that this is my only income into my household so i am considered low income and i do live in low income housing which explains why my rent is only 463 dollars it is based upon um my salary my income so yeah so anyway so this check is um this uh budget is kind of short because this is the check that i pay my rent out of so i don't have a whole lot of expenses that i pay out of this check so um if you're looking for to see what i pay for utility bills check out my previous video for march the 14th and 15th and that's the video that's before this and it will show you a breakdown of all my other expenses that you don't see listed here such as utility bills health insurance i mean life insurance rental insurance okay so before i get started i will say that i do have some things that come out of my paycheck um i have uh, dental insurance that comes out of my paycheck life insurance for my daughter health insurance for myself um i have retirement and i do fo pretty much follow the baby steps of dave ramsey and i know that he says that while you are paying off debts you should stop your retirement contributions but with my job it is mandatory so it comes out automatically it's not something that i can stop so Therefore, I do have that come out of my check. Okay, so like I said before, rent, $463. My phone bill is $50, and I have prepaid services with Straight Talk. And I can say about Straight Talk, they are a wonderful, wonderful prepaid service. I have never had any problems with them. And I've had Straight Talk over eight years, I believe, so yes i do recommend them for prepaid phone service i have unlimited talk text and internet and while i'm at home i am connected to my wi-fi so i don't really typically use a lot of data um ashton babysit um sinking fund i funded with 35 dollars um and i usually fund 70 dollars towards her after school care but she is not in after school now because the schools here in South Carolina are closed. Like they are closed across uh, the country. So yeah, so I just put $35 into her babysitting sinking fund. And that sinking fund is for whenever I need to pay a babysitter for her. I'll have that money sitting around in that account. Because that's usually what buses my budget is when I have unexpected babysitting things that... I have to fund that was not factored into the budget so i start i decided to start a sinking fund for that reason okay so gas i put in forty dollars laundry is ten dollars per week so for for two weeks that's twenty dollars savings jar um i have a coin savings jar that i throw coins in i am trying to reach five hundred dollars by the end of the year and so far, I'm right at $93, $94. So, I put in $20 to that savings jar. Okay, now, I am doing a savings challenge, and um, which is basically this here. And it is a money savings chart, and you use this chart to save an additional $1,000 throughout the year. 
So when I get paid, I feel I pick two of these to fill out. Since I get paid every two weeks, I color in two for that pay period. And so as you can see, I have several colored in. For this particular pay period, I did not save a lot. This is probably the least amount I've saved all year. I saved $7 and I saved $3, which is $10. So I saved a total of $10 for that pay period towards my savings challenge which is very low and like I said it's the lowest that I've saved all year but this paycheck was uh it was just a lot of things that I had to pay it, it I just did not was not able to get a lot of stuff out of this paycheck but I still saved something so that's the main point and the main idea is that whenever you get paid no matter how little it is save something out of your paycheck so as you can see I, t I basically did a total savings of $30 20 went towards my coin savings jar and $10 went towards my savings challenge okay food food was $80 I budgeted out $80 which I am thinking about increasing this only because of what is going on with the coronavirus I'm finding that I am going to the store every week now instead of every two weeks and I am having to stock up on essential items that I find to be essential such as orange juice so that I can protect myself because I am still working through all of this even though the schools are closed I am still working we are still in the schools cleaning and doing detail cleaning and doing things that we cannot normally do doing when the kids are there so i have to make sure i'm staying protected and speaking of that i have my bottle of orange juice here so um i am going to the store and i'm spending a little bit more money on food so i'm thinking for my next budget i will increase this to 100 dollars. okay so household household i budgeted out 20 dollars for household items and then i had um, a total of $14.92. So, um, like I told you guys before, um, I do not do a zero-based budget because I always find that little things come up that I may not have in, in the budget. So, I like to leave a little bit of a cushion just for those little things that may come up that was unbudgeted for. So, yeah. So, this is a very quick video. I think I will come back and I will share with you guys some other things and I'll probably just add that into the video and if I don't um you guys take care you stay safe um let me know down below if you guys are still working um like I said I am still working um next week will be spring, uh, the scheduled spring break for the school district and we are going to have that week off and of course we can't go anywhere but i thank god for that week so that i can get some things done in my household as well as i have some other videos that i need to put together for you explaining my debt i have not came and did a debt um debt uh video explaining where what my debts are and what debts i have paid off already i have paid off quite a few debts already and i need to come and give y'all an update on that um, and then I need to talk to you guys about my sinking funds. I have quite a bit of sinking funds that I have not um, shared with you guys. So I would like to come and tell you guys about my sinking funds, where I keep them, as well as how much I have in them. And yeah, so stay safe, you guys. Take care.